first viral quotes about narcissism was, no one throws a bigger tantrum than a narcissist who's losing control over somebody else's mind. Now that could have been down to the way I chose to spell whose because of the meaning of whose as in belonging to somebody else and it has been adapted over the years and the spelling of, of whose has been changed including myself who took on board the feedback that I received and thought mm, am I right am I wrong not quite sure however it's true Narcissistic individuals throw major childlike tantrums when they lose control over somebody else's mind. When narcissists lose control over someone, they often resort to various manipulative tactics to regain their sense of power, to protect their fragile egos. And there's lots of different behaviours that a narcissist will go down and it depends on the narcissist you're dealing with but once you can recognise the pattern of behaviour it no longer hits you by surprise because you can recognise what they're going to try next. A narcissist might simply just suddenly become incredibly kind, incredibly helpful, incredibly nice bending over backwards to serve you. Every action with a narcissist is a transaction they suddenly become overly kind, overly generous, overly attentive, attempting to re win back your affection and your trust and your admiration. It's a form of love bombing, hoovering, the intermittent reinforcement. They're looking to reward you, to suck you back in. They play nice to lure you back into the relationship. Narcissistic individuals look to make you doubt your decision to leave you questioning yourself. They look to dominate your independence. They don't like your independence. They look to take it away from you. Narcissists look to regain control by appealing to your emotions. Suddenly they want to take you out. Suddenly they want to do everything with you to stop you from becoming in an independent entity to them and doing the things that you enjoy. Narcissists can go all out to play the victim in the situation that they created. They will portray themselves who has been hurt by you, wronged by you. You don't care about them. You're putting somebody else before them. They will claim that you're the one who has abandoned them. Narcissists will exaggerate their suffering or their innocence. And this tactic is used to elicit sympathy and shift the blame away from themselves and make you feel guilty. By playing the victim, the narcissist can manipulate you into supportive, supporting them. Thereby isolating you and making you second guess your behaviours, your actions, your thought process. They can simply claim that you don't care about them. So... If you arrange to go out with your friends or family, a narcissist classes this as a sense of abandonment. They believe they've lost control. So they'll turn around and say, well, if, you're, if they're more important to you than I am. So you feel guilty. They claim that you're cold, that you're distant, that you're unloving, that you've changed, that you've become indifferent to them. And more often than not, during the course of a narcissistic relationship, you might become indifferent to them. So when they give you that feedback, you look internally and question yourself and then change to try and make them happier. And they change temporarily with the plain nice and then they revert back to who they are and you become indifferent and distance yourself from them and then they play the victim and accuse you of being the problem again and you get trapped in your mind thinking that you're the issue, that you're the crazy one. And they're manipulating you to get their needs met by you. Narcissists will accuse you of things because they're looking to guilt trip you into staying or returning to them. They want to get you to question your motives, question your empathy. They aim to undermine your confidence and force you to care and prove your loyalty to them. They will blame and shame you. Narcissistic individuals will hold you responsible for all their faults, all their failings, all their wrongdoings, and you will often take responsibility for these as well as your own. Narcissists look to belittle you and undermine you. Undermine you. Narcissists blame and shame you because it deflects attention away from their own flaws, their own flaws, their own toxic 
behavior by making you feel guilty, by making you feel inadequate, the narcissist can regain the upper hand over the situation and become more influential and regain control over you. Narcissists can go all out to stalk and harass you. They're looking to intimidate you. They can follow you. They can monitor your social media. They can send unwanted messages but in the abundance they do not leave you alone they can physically show up where you are uninvited only they show up all charming and pleasant and kind and when you react defensively to them the narcissist makes out to everyone that you're the issue and the narcissist is treating everyone else so well that no one can recognize the narcissist's behavior it's the narcissist's way of intimidating you to regain control over you. Stalking and harassment is used to instill that fear so that they can assert their dominance and prevent you from moving on. When a narcissist loses control over you, they can go all out to smear your name, to spread the rumours, to spread the lies, to spread the half-truths, to ruin your reputation, to your friends, to your family, to your work. They're looking to destroy you and take you down any way they can because they've lost control over you. They're seeking that revenge on you for things that you didn't even do to them. But they feel threatened that you dare to cut off your supply to them. So they go all out to ruin you. Smearing is a tactic used by narcissists to discredit you so that they can maintain their self-serving image. By painting you in a negative light, the narcissist attempts to isolate you from all support systems and gain others onto the narcissist's side, validating the narcissist version of events, re reinforcing their narrative and their sense of control. Narcissists will happily move on to someone new because they're seeking that supply. They will quickly begin a new relationship. They might keep it secret to try and toy with you and get you to look for answers. Or they can go all out to flaunt it publicly, comparing you unfavourably. They can move in next door. They can move in across the street so that they can still watch you but claim that you're the bitter one you're the jealous one in their smear campaign against you. These behaviours are driven by the narcissist's need for control, validation and admiration. When they sense that their needs are threatened or unfulfilled in some way, they employ these tactics to regain their dominance, to regain their sense of control, to avoid facing their own insecurities and their own inadequacies. It's essential if you're dealing with a narcissistic individual to recognise these patterns of behaviour and recognise that this is why you need to create more distance from this person. Begging or pleading with them to stop does not work. They just see this as supply and attention. The best thing you can do when dealing with a narcissistic individual is don't. Document everything because you never know when Exhibit A is going to come in handy and keep a safe distance. With some you might need to move away, with others you might need to get those restraining orders, those non-molestation orders. With others as, as long as you can remove yourself from their sort of orbit so they don't know anything about you, we'll leave you alone. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel. It's greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about narcissistic behaviour to give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot give no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. If you are looking for further help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. I do also have a couple of one-to-one -one swaps available and the links for those will be in the description also. I do also have several books out on Amazon. I have How to Create Boundaries around those who do not respect your boundaries, such as narcissistic individuals who feel entitled to have everything their own way. And then there's 15 rules to deal with narcissistic people. 
how to stay sane and break the chain if you cannot go no contact with a narcissistic person. The relatively new book, which is hilarious and horrifying narcissistic memes and their meanings, which are the quotes and the memes that I've shared over the internet over the past few years, in a little handy book with the meanings behind the meme, the meaning, memings? The meanings behind the memes and the quotes. A Narcissist Handbook, which is the ultimate guide to understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, which just breaks down the criteria and the behaviours. And there is different chapters, so if you just need to refresh, you can just turn to ghosting and read all about that one. And it's not that one, it's this one. I do also have Healing from Narcissistic Abuse, a guided journal for recovery and empowerment, which is less about reading and more about writing to help you recover with your emotional he healing and to get the narcissist thoughts out of your head and to rebuild personal relationships, to learn how to set healthy boundaries. If anyone is interested in any of these, they are all available on Amazon and the current offer is, if anyone is happy to purchase a copy and leave a genuine five-star review, then the online break free from narcissistic and emotional abuse course is available for absolutely free just send me a message for more information go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day bye